Factoring Perfect Cubes, presented by Catherine. Well, here's the two formulas we're going to need to know, whether you have a cubed plus b or a cubed minus b. If you're required to memorize these, SOAP is a really neat way to do it. The letters stand for same as the sign in the middle of the original expression, opposite sign, and always positive. And you can see here how they were used. So let's just get started. We have x to the third minus eight. Since it's subtraction, we're gonna be using this formula. The first thing I like to do is actually break these down. x to the third is the same thing as saying x to the third power minus, now eight is two to the third power. How did I know that? Well, I know that two times two times two is eight. What we're going to do is we're going to follow this formula right here. So we have a minus b. Well, this is a and this is b. So we're going to have x minus 2. Then we're going to have a squared. So we'll have x squared plus a times b, which is 2 times x, which is 2x, plus b squared. So we'll have 2 squared. Let's simplify this a little bit more. Our answer will be x minus 2 times x plus 2x plus 4. And that's it. Well, what if we have x cubed plus something? Well, let's do this one, x cubed plus 27. Once again, I'm going to split these up. So I'm going to have x to the third power plus 3 to the third power, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And now all we do is we follow our formula. This is my a, and this is my b. So we're going to have x plus 3 times a squared. Well, this is my a, so it's x squared, minus x times 3, which is 3x, plus b squared, which is 3 squared. So I'm just going to write it out as 3 squared for right now. So let's get our final answer. So let's see our final answer. We're going to have x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. I'm going to ask you to try this one. So I'm going to have you pause, get the answer, and then play to see what the solution is. Let's do this one together. Once again, it's a subtraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is look here. Well, this is 8x to the third. That means I want something to the third power that will give me 8x to the third. Well, I know that 2 to the third is 8, and x to the third is x to the third. You want me to prove it? No problem. 2x times 2x times 2x is 8x to the third. So this is what my a will be. 1, 1 is a neat little number because 1 to any power is itself is 1. For 1 to the third is just 1. So we have minus 1. And this turns out to be our b. So we're going to have 2x, because that's my a, not 2x to the third, just 2x, minus 1. Now we're going to have 2x squared. That's because this is a squared, plus 2x times 1, which is 2x, plus b, which is 1. So we have 1 squared final answer is going to be 2x minus 1 times 4x squared, because this is 2x squared. It's 2x times 2x plus 2x plus 1. And there you have it. And yes, to be in factored form, you do have to do the multiplication.
Try this last one on your own. Press pause, factor it, and then play to see the solution. Well, this one's an addition, so that's the formula we're going to use. Well, we just talked about that 1 to the third is 1. We're going to have 1 to the third plus, and here's our b, it's just x, to the third. Now this is my a, and this is my b. So we're going to have 1 plus x, a squared, so I'm taking 1 squared, which is 1, minus 1 times x, which is 1x, or just x, plus b squared, or x squared. And you know what? That's it. To make it really correct, we like to have the x's first. So, we have x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1. Thanks for joining me.